people will never know what it's like to manage a big job. To have to be in charge of a bunch of people, keep them all busy and working every day, schedule all the work, and make sure there are enough materials available on a daily basis so that everyone can stay busy and working for the time allotted. It's, it's quite the interesting adventure in work. Because for the most part, the majority of people in the world only have to go to go to their job, do the one thing they have to do, and go home and turn around and do it again the next day. I guess the best thing I can compare it to is trying to live your life efficiently, managing your resources and time in such a way that it benefits you in the long run so that you can accomplish your goals and or get the job done. That being said, what the hell goes on with politics and the Democrats in particular these days? aren't managing anything except for trying to undermine the guy who's supposed to be getting the job done. Who's supposed to be able to organize and prioritize everything so that things can roll along smoothly. Why in the world would they keep attacking this man with outlandish charges and un unsubstantiated allegations. As far as I can tell, there are only two possibilities. Some would say three, but I ain't buying the third one. One, either they're piss poor managers and the people that hired them to do the job just don't care or two they have a different agenda than the man in charge than the guy trying to lead the country in a certain direction so that this country and its people can benefit from the progress made. I don't believe for one second that all of this has to do with the fact that they didn't win the 2016 election. That they're upset because their candidate didn't get into office. That doesn't fly with me. It's much more likely that their agenda is not the agenda of America. It's someone else's agenda. And that's why they fight so hard, and that's why they've been doing what they're doing. And if it isn't the agenda of America and freedom, that means somewhere along the line, these people have subverted the Constitution and or committed treason. So I suppose we should all ask ourselves the obvious question, if that's the case. How far would you be willing to go to avoid the rope. What wouldn't you say 
what wouldn't you do? What wouldn't you accuse the other guy of doing in order to avoid the outcome or punishment of treasonous behavior? And it should be obvious to anybody who's raised multiple children. I hate to keep using this in that analogy, but it fits perfectly. The ones who whine the loudest have the most to lose. So who would that be under this scenario? Well, there's a whole host of people. And it just so happens that they all hold positions of power. Nancy Pelosi, Chuck Schumer, Adam Schiff, Jerry Nadler, Jim Comey, Hillary Clinton, and the list goes on and on. Because in order for this scenario to work, there have to be a lot of players. And if you're going to subvert our government and create a new system right under our noses, how would you go about it? Well, all we have to do is look at the things that we experience and see on a daily basis these days. First thing you would do is take over the intelligence agencies and the people who gather information because information is power, as we all know. And then to gain control over the people, you would take over the media. Hence, fake news. And the icing on the cake, and for this particular scenario, the enforcer of the whole thing would be the social media companies. Because people put way too much stock in their social media platforms and put too, way too much of their identity into them. And they will, just like some of the other people involved with this, go along to get along and say whatever they have to do to protect it because they don't want to lose their reach into the world because for the most part nobody appreciates nature anymore nobody goes out in the world and do the things that normal freaking human beings do they'd rather exist in a digital environment and call it the real world that's why Twitter has so much power in the world these days. When the reality of it is, that's a small sliver of our society. Yet, because the online presence has been given such a big voice, people actually think their opinions matter. no participation prize for losing an election. They didn't get the job done. They lost. They should lick their wounds and come back <clears throat> from a new angle. But that isn't what's happened. So obviously something's changed. Leading me to believe that unlike popular opinion, our current president is not down for their agenda. Anything but. Because he's re repealed more than one globalist policy that was meant to drag us into this system that's subverting our government and undermining our constitution. 
and bringing the American people one step closer, one day at a time, one drip at a time, to understanding exactly what these people were up to and how this was all supposed to work. I don't keep doing this on YouTube because I want to be popular. I don't keep doing this because I want people to like me. This shit needs to be said. And people need to acknowledge what the hell's been going on. Because sitting on our hands and looking the other way completely unacceptable and that's how we freaking got here in the first place so if you want to listen to the guy from Boston who's never managed a big job in his life go ahead that's your prerogative if you want to listen to some long haired dude who basically preaches anarchy. That's, that's your trip. But I'll say this. There have to be laws. There have to be restrictions on what people can do in the name of freedom. Because as we're all finding out on a drip, drip, daily basis, you give somebody enough wiggle room, they'll take it all. And before you know it, what you thought you had, you won't have it all. I've said this re before, but I'll keep repeating it. Left, right, or straight down the middle. If the people who are elected aren't serving the Constitution, they're not serving the people. And that's why the Democrats have been doing what they've been doing. Because they're afraid of being exposed. And if Donald Trump was one of them and down for their agenda and what they were trying to do, they wouldn't be doing what they're doing. It's just that simple. And for people to keep holding the same attitudes and keep saying the same things when the work that has been done says different does a disservice to the work that's already been done. should all care deeply about the truth. Because in the end, we don't know where the truth is going to lead. Because we have been lied to for so long. And when it starts coming undone, meaning the lie that was established that led us to where we are, there's no telling where it could lead. There's no telling the things that could be exposed because of it. And not being willing to raise our voices, take an interest, and rail against the machine is a travesty. It only allows the people who are trying to subvert our way of life and undermine the Constitution an opportunity to advance their cause. Because there's a lot more going on here than meets the eye, folks. And if we're not willing to dig for the truth, 
we're never going to find it.